Mr. Transformers 96 here, another review, this time Star Wars, The Clone Wars, uh, General Grievous with his attack cycle, so here you go, so I guess this is like the deluxe pack because it's the figure and the vehicle, so very nice, so this is part of the, uh, new 2011, uh, deluxe packs, um, I'm gonna call it deluxe pack, I don't know if it is a deluxe pack, but it's the vehicle and, uh, figure combo pack, um, but yeah, so here it is, this packaging is just about a thousand times better than the last one, it's actually, it's, it's quite fantastic, it's a nice size. It's nice and thin up here. It kind of tilts the box so you get a nice picture of the, uh, of, um, it's a nice artwork of the, uh, whatever you're getting. Uh, it's very nice. Really liking this package. Same type of package as the back. Um, it just shows this and him and his gimmick and, uh, some others in the wave. Um, so yeah, I do have Castus, so it's bit that review, and uh, these two I don't have and don't plan on buying. If I happen to buy one of them, I buy this one, but I seriously doubt I'm going to buy it, so don't hold your breath. Um, but yeah, but beautiful packaging, really loving the package, and um, I'll just, I'll move to the side so you can still see it in the screen, but uh, but not focusing on it. So anyway, so here is the attack cycle. Um, so it's nice. Uh, for those of you that really wanted the uh, attack cycle from the movie but just uh, missed out on it and it's like uh, insanely high prices, you know, then this is a good one for you. Um, unfortunately, uh, well, while watching um, FX Friends' review of this, uh, he said that uh, the prices on the one from um, the Star Wars movie were just unbelievable prices, and uh, I own that, and I did not know that, and I just sold it for like four dollars not too long ago, four or five dollars, something like that, and apparently it's this big rare thing, so I was so upset to hear him say that, I just wish I didn't know that I had the original and sold it for so cheap, and apparently it's worth a lot, so that's a big shame and uh yeah so looking at this doesn't bring back very fond memories of selling it but uh what are you gonna do um but it's nice to get an animated one uh it really looks good um the this doesn't split up and become the arms like the other one did i wish it did that would have been cool if they made the arms uh the legs of the motorcycle or legs of the cycle that would be really cool um but yeah but he fits in it and very nicely you can fit his feet down here with his feet pointing up um i saw fx, FX fans has had his feet uh up here so there's different ways that you can put his feet in uh i have him holding one of the um uh, one of the handles for it on one side and then on the other side I just have his hand down holding uh, his um electro staff so that's very cool so I think that he fits great in here and it just looks really nice uh, the cycle is quite nice on um, I'm sorry. Uh, paint for the cycle is pretty decent. It's got some smearing in the silver paint, and uh, so yeah. But other than that, it's pretty okay paint. Uh, I definitely, it's good. They did a good job painting the cycle. As for the figure, figure paint is uh, very sloppy. There's some uh, bleeding into other paints, but it's hard to see when it's in the cycle. But when you have them out, uh, there's a lot of differences, um, and that's not very good. Now, just talk about the uh, figure for really quick. Um, I'm not going to take this guy out because I have him in a nice pose where I want him, and uh, uh, don't want to have to go through putting him back in, but uh, but it is a new sculpt. It seems to be a new head sculpt. Same arms and um, same just arms and everything from the shoulder down. It's the same uh, as far as the arms. Um, the pads on his shoulders they have glued on, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I just took my panels off because they just were such uh, a shame and then the body sculpt seems to be the same uh, with minor differences in paint I don't really think any paint differences in paint and then um, the legs the legs are a bit different from here it seems to be the same but then from here down it's a bit different on him uh, and the feet are a little bit bigger so it's easier to stand still has some problems but it's easier to stand and yeah but all in all it's a very nice uh, redo of uh, this guy um, same sculpt so that uh, you can have the removable arms, just they glued it in. So, um, so yes. And then just as a little comparison, I just found this guy uh, yesterday um, for my stuff. And uh, so I thought I'd bring him out. Yeah, the uh, Grievous from the movie. So, yeah, so movie Grievous and animated Grievous. Just found him yesterday, so very cool. So, yeah, so just... Just I just wanted to show them off there. So yeah, so very cool. So um so yeah, but the attack cycle is very nice. It's kind of plain. I mean uh it's a nice sculpt and everything, but there's not much you can do with it. Uh this thing doesn't rotate, it's just got some wheels on the bottom here, uh, which is a shame. They do have this cycle going all the way through though, which is nice. Um yeah, it's got some uh, weapons on the side which you can detach. 
just two blasters, doesn't shoot anything or anything like that. And then uh, it's got two kind of clips here and here where you can hold things. Um, <clears throat> on this side I'm holding an uh, unlit lightsaber, and on this side you can plug in a lightsaber, and you can point it forward like you're going to attack somebody as you're driving. You can just slide it under here so that it's not, it's easy, it's, uh, you can't really see it, or you can flip it up like this. There's lots of stuff you can do with it, you know. Just, uh, whatever. So yeah, but uh, but it's it's kind of just you know there. It's a little rolling toy. Uh, it's very compact all together. You know, with the Grievous in it, but it looks nice. Um, there's more of a display piece than anything because there's not a lot of playability with this because it's just a rolling toy. But it still looks very nice. I really like the look of it all. Uh, it comes to oops, sorry, just knocked over Grievous, but it caught him. But uh, but uh, it looks um. It's it's very nice, you know. I like the look, but there's nothing that's there's no features. There's nothing fun. They could have uh, they could have put you know a little clip that maybe had a little bomb in it that you could throw or something like that. I don't know, just something little I would have liked, but uh, but no. But the electro staff is really nice to have. This is my first electro staff from the Clone Wars toy line, uh, so it's very nice. It's clear on the sides, and then there's just a black bar. I haven't taken the rubber band off of his hand yet, so I assume you won't hold it well at all. So I recommend uh, leaving the rubber band on if you're going to leave him. Uh, he comes with the electro staff and a lightsaber, um, but yeah, I don't use a lightsaber for him though. So yeah, so um... So there you go. So nothing absolutely too fantastic, but it's a very nice mold. If you are just, you have a bunch of Grievouses, um, but you're not a big Grievous fan, you just, you, you ended up getting a lot of the Grievouses, this isn't going to be one for you. If you're a, uh, a big Grievous fan, you really liked them from the movie, you got some movie Grievouses, you got some Clone Wars Grievouses, then this is a must-have for you, because it's Grievous' cycle. So, uh, you know, and if you have the original cycle, this is definitely one that you want to get. If you, um, if you always wanted the original cycle, and and, uh, uh, this is a substitute. It's not a good substitute. The other one had lots of nice features and stuff. The other one was much better. Can't believe I sold it, but whatever. Okay, I'm gonna get off that. But, uh, but yeah, but this is still a nice, uh, looking thing for you if you really wanted the other one and can't get it. Um, so there you go. So, uh, so, you know, it's a decent toy. Nothing fantastic. Um, better than Castus. I can't really judge that because they're so different. Um, but the only thing is, uh, there was no excitement for getting the figure for me because because, um, because, uh, the figure was just Grievous, I already had a Grievous, but yeah. Um, and I didn't plan on buying this, it's just, uh, really, I just, I wanted it, I saw it, and I really wanted it in the store, but then I decided to go away a little bit, came back to the toy section, decided to pick it up, just walk with it for a while, and then by the time I got up to the front, I decided to buy it. Um, I got this guy at Target, um, apparently they were supposed to be released at Toys R Us first, and I had a lot of trouble finding it, except I found a Castus at one Toys R Us, um, but then, uh, the day after, after went to a Target and they had all four of them. They only had one of each, though. I will say so. I bought the last Grievous. So um, it seems like it's gonna be a bit difficult to get considering they only have one of each. Um, but um, still, I'd recommend you go and get it. Go look at your Walmart's, Toys R Us's, Targets. You know, I've seen it at. Target and Toys R Us. I haven't seen this exact one, but I've seen the series at Target and Toys R Us so far. I haven't seen it at Walmart yet, though. But it really just depends on your area. So there you go. So that's my review of Star Wars The Clone Wars uh, General Grievous with Attack Cycle. Um, there you go. Thanks for watching.